Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Tracy with uh, Tarot Talk 1111. This is my second channel. If you're a subscriber to my first channel, um, this is my whimsical channel. It's the channel where I just want to have fun. So today I was called to the table because I'm caught up on my other channel and I wanted to do a pick a card reading. And the title of this is my favorite. What does spirit want to communicate to me right now? What do I need to know from the angels, archangels, from your spirit guides, ascended masters, gods, goddesses, um, anybody that wants to come in and give a message, right? What is the highest and best message? So for pile number one, we have citrine. Pile number two, is adventuring. Pile number three is clear quartz crystal. Okay, so take a moment and ask your spirit guides, your angels, your ascended masters, your deceased loved ones, ask all of your guides to come in and give you a clear, concise message. And then I would like you to take your intuition and figure out which one of these piles holds the message from your guides? Okay, we're going to get started on pile number one. This is the citrine. Give me a moment to lay your cards out. this actually out of the way here. Oh, these two I'm going to keep for last. Those are reading cards. So let me take a look at your message here. We have rejoice and celebration, victory, and success. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. That's manifestation, guys. A new start is coming. Yin Yang. Six chakra archangel Metatron, which is your intuition. Exchanging gifts a leg up. Okay, so I've already got your message, guys. This is pretty cool, too. Okay, so your spirit guides are telling you that Victory and success and rejoice and celebration, okay? They are cheering you on. You are definitely getting cheered on from the, the uh, spiritual realm. I feel like you've been on a soul's journey. This is all about... Um, this is about balancing your inner masculine and feminine. This... I find that this is going on with a lot of people right now. For those who hear the call, that's what I'm hearing. Because see, look, this, this is the call. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. The trumpet has sounded. And they are celebrating that you have answered the call. So I know from experience that when you're on an ascension journey, when you're trying to balance this inner masculine and feminine, for those of you who don't know what I mean by that, just let me take a moment to explain to you what the ascension journey is when it comes to divine masculine and divine feminine within you. Okay. For some of you, it can um, show up in your life as a twin flame divine soulmate counterpart, okay? Um, they are a mirror to you of the places in your life where your mask, inner masculine and inner feminine is out of balance. So what do I mean by out of balance? So some of us are too giving, too people pleasing. We're nurturers, we're caregivers. We we never speak up. Um, we allow people to just take advantage of our kindness and our openness, okay? Um, that can be a distorted feminine. 
energy within you. It's not in balance with your divine masculine. When you balance that with the divine masculine, you learn how to put up healthy boundaries around you, how to tell people um, with kindness, but firmness that you are not in a space anymore that you are going to tolerate anything less than being treated in the way that you're worth being treated. It's knowing your self-worth, okay? So distorted masculine, what does that look like? Distorted masculine is somebody who um, feels that it's my way or the highway. Um, I don't want to listen to your guidance. I would rather trust my own. Uh, distorted masculine is sometimes non-committal. Um, they can be narcissistic. Um, they can treat people in a way that's self-serving. You know, it doesn't nurture the other person. It just nurtures their own ego, their own self. Um, there are many ways, okay? I could spend all day long here just explaining this one card. But this is the number 22, which is 1111 um, multiplied by two. This is, for me, the 1111, if you see that a lot on a clock, that is a wake-up call. That's this right here your spirit guides and your um, ascended masters, all of your spiritual help are waking you up. They're saying time to wake up because you have been out of balance. You don't know your own worth. You're not, you know, it, it depends on where your distortion is, right? Where does your distorted ego hold you back on your ascension path? Ascension path is expansion, it's growth, it's spiritual awakening, it's knowing who you are and what your purpose is here on earth, it's uh, recognizing that there's something greater and higher, a, a higher purpose, a higher um, spiritual calling, and a higher energy, right? Somebody who's got your back, many somebodies. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that your spirit guides are rejoicing and celebrating because you are victoriously awakened and on your path to success. And in order for you to move beyond any current challenges that are holding you back, you need to focus on what you desire. So that's manifestation. So how do we manifest? Well, in order to manifest, you have to dream it. And then you have to feel it like, like it's already there. Like what would it feel like to own that new car? What would it feel like to be balanced within myself so that I'm not feeling like people are using me or I'm not using other people, right? You got to feel it. And then you got to let go of the outcome. This has been the hardest challenge in my spiritual awakening is control issues. I, I went through that dark night of the soul, the purge. If you don't know what a purge is, it's like spiritual um, throwing up, only it's crying. Um, it's not just crying because you're sad or depressed. It's, it's almost like an unwanted crying that come, overcomes you. And it, it's like this feeling of compassion and realization that really, really hits you in all the places that your fears live. Anything that you have been afraid of, abandonment, um, codependence, uh, addictions, a fear of not being loved, right? Wherever your brokenness lies, um, that's what's going to be mirrored to you during this time. This is expansion of your soul. It's leveling up. It's, it's learning the lessons you need to learn to put you on the higher path, the one of joy and happiness and peace and healthy boundaries and, and balance and stability, okay? If this is appearing in your life as a twin flame or divine soulmate, then they are your mirror. They are the ones that are here to help you, to agitate you, to mirror back to you all of your brokenness. So if you have fear of abandonment, they're going to abandon you. 
If you have fear of commitment, they're going to ask for you to commit to them. If you have a fear of failure, they're going to reinforce that belief system by telling you you're, you are a failure, right? And then, but all of that will change and transform okay first it upsets you it gets it gets the purge happening gets the dark night of the soul going right then it then it agitates you to start thinking oh my god why do i tolerate this i know i deserve better i know that i am a good person why does this keep happening to me right these are the questions that will come up during your ascension because it's all the stuff that you have to heal and this other person, if it shows up in your reading that way, because it might, might not be. Um, we get awakened on different journeys at different times by different circumstances. Okay. My, my own personal one was a twin flame. That's how it showed up in my life. Okay. So what is happening on this journey? You're manifesting a greater life for yourself, balance, stability, healing, overcoming, right? And then, you know, they're telling you, hold on, don't give up because a new start is coming. Okay. Now for me personally, what this here means, the balance of the divine masculine and feminine we talked about, but the sixth chakra is, you know, your spiritual knowing, it's your intuition, it's your inner guidance. It's the compass that you were born with. All right. So what spirit's trying to tell you is that if you do this process and allow yourself to grow, to be the caterpillar that goes in the chrysalis and comes out the butterfly, or to be, sometimes it's not that gentle, you know? I mean, the caterpillar's got to completely go to goo inside that chrysalis before they can reform. Nobody really knows what magic happens in the chrysalis, right? That's why it's magic. God knows and your spirit guides know. All right. So um, what they're, and I'm seeing here, look at her third eye. There's a bindi on her third eye. Archangel Metatron talks about your third eye, your spiritual awakening, your inner knowing, your inner guidance, inner compass. So these are the gifts. You're exchanging gifts with literally God or, or what you perceive as God, you know, whether it's just spirit universe, whatever you call it, it's, it's the collective consciousness, right? It's creative source. And if it's a twin flame journey or divine soulmate, that's, that's brought you to this reading, then, you know, you, you'll be exchanging gifts with them too. Um, back in December, I had, during that blood moon, um, I've always been gifted. I've been a medium. I'm not quite doing the mediumship as much anymore. I don't know why. I guess that's not part of the calling that I need right now. I think all of my gifts will be used um, as they're needed. But right now, you know, I'm more of a teacher. So um, for me personally, I got all kinds of new gifts. You know, I used to be able to talk to dead people, see dead people. I just had an inner knowing. I knew, I just knew things. I didn't know how I knew. I had a lot of prophetic dreams. Um, but now it's like I have healing abilities that, that can help heal other people. I have become a teacher, an instructor. I'm like the hierophant, the teacher and the student, because I am still learning. I am still uh, going through my transformation. So this is an exchange of gifts between you and your twin or your soulmate or just with you and the universe. It's getting new gifts of inner knowing and spiritual growth. And it's spirit's way of giving you a leg up. Okay, you've been stuck in cycles that go round and round and round. I'm seeing on the back of this card, this cycle of round and round and round. Okay, so let's get you some advice. The advice, key of life. The onk pretends new life being born through you now. See, it's a, a new, it's a rebirth. 
It's like being a born again, right? Only we're not dealing with Christianity here. We're dealing with creative source, which is, you know, the, the cornerstone of Christianity. However, it's, it's without the filters that man has put on it, right? So a new life is being born through you now. This new life being born in whatever form will enrich your life, exchanging gifts, a leg up, bringing you more into wholeness, balance, and fulfillment. Do not give up on your creative destiny. Stay with it. You are flowing in the right direction and you have the spiritual support from the unseen, unseen worlds. Let it happen. And I see that here. They are rejoicing for you. They are um, applauding that your victory is on the horizon. Okay, so let's get you a postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, selfless giving is an elixir so sweet and life-giving and amazing that it should be customary for everyday living. Right now, generosity is being asked of you. Let go of a debt, release an obligation, healing, okay? I'm hearing that if this is has been activated within you by a person that has wronged you, they are your mirror. They were supposed to wrong you. It was what brought your third eye, um, the awakeful state that you are in, okay? And it says that you should be releasing a debt an obligation. So that's karmic debt, right? It's forgiveness. It's it's forgiving them because you now recognize spiritually that they did this for you, not to you. So do a solid kindness to someone for no other reason than as an exercise of the heart. You will be surprised how quickly a generous heart is repaid. We know it often doesn't happen in the immediate exchange, so temper your expectations. Know that life has an uncanny way of sending miracles seemingly unrelated to your kindness, yet interconnected in magical ways. The more you act from generosity, the bigger your heart grows, and the more love and abundance you will experience. We also know that someone could be entering your life with a generous offer for you. Take it and trust you are worthy and deserving of it. You have to receive, not just give to find balance. We love you so much over here. Okay, that's pretty clear cut to me. I mean, for some of you, this is definitely a person who is your divine mirror, and they're going to come in and give you a generous offer. And Spirit's telling you that once you go through this situation and you recognize your value, recognize your worth, you will be, you will know that you are deser deserving and you will be able to receive and not just give. Because some of you are just givers. You don't allow the receiving to happen because you don't believe you're worthy. Okay, I hope this has resonated, guys. I'm going to move on to pile two. Thank you for uh, clicking. And please hit a thumbs up if it resonated. And leave me a comment. Tell me, you know, where are you at on your ascension path? Okay, up next we've got pile number two, which is adventuring. <clears throat> Let me turn over your cards. Oh, I like it. Okay, so we have material harvest. That's the nine of pentacles. Deception and envy, the seven of swords. Hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. We have new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. We have woman holding a heart. And we have anxiety. We have to the sea and the fates. Okay, so I'm getting here that there has been a situation either, I, I feel like, I'm just going to say what I feel. Hopefully it resonates. Somebody has done you wrong. Somebody's cheated on you, lied to you, broken your heart, um, abandoned you, maybe ghosted you. Um, but there's deception. There might be jealousy involved. 
could be a third party situation. Uh, but this is all about getting out from under that. This is you healing because it's your destiny to heal this and move on. Okay, you need to have hope and know that you can be the highest and best version of yourself. You really can be, but you're going to have to forgive this person and forgive yourself for allowing them to show up in your life this way without healthy boundaries, without, you know, checking it at the door, stopping it when the red flags were there, you knew it. Spirit, your spirit guides are saying when the red flags were there, you knew, you knew. But you you didn't want to hear. You didn't want to listen. You you decided to go um, and marry this person or move in with this person or start dating this person. Um, and if this applies as a job, you know, this can really apply anywhere in your life where there's deception and it could be around money. Um, but I feel like it's I'm feeling that for most of you that clicked on this, this is this is a relationship that had deception in it. OK, and you're trying to heal from this and spirits telling you to have hope, love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts because you are worthy. You're absolutely worthy and you deserve to be loved. And if this person wasn't showing up for you in the right way, then it's time to let that person go. And I see that that's what you're trying to do here, you know, but you're deeply in love with this person or, or codependent, you know, because sometimes we don't know the difference. What's the difference between codependence and love? Love is free. <laughs> love doesn't hold you bound. Love is, is, rewarding I'm hearing somebody out there is not somebody out there needs to get help because I feel like you are in a situation where you have fear fear you're afraid of this person and they they have your heart but codependence is not love guys it's not it's um it's fear of abandonment. It's fear that if I, if, you know, maybe they tell you, if you leave me, nobody will ever love you the way I do. And you're not, you're fat, you're ugly. Who would have you? Whatever. Okay. That's just for a handful of you. I feel like there's somebody in an abusive relationship here that desperately needs to get out. Okay. Um, Luck is on your side. Have hope and faith. Get Seek the help that you need. For those of you that that resonates with, for others of you, this is, you know, worrying and anxiety because you're afraid that this person is going to let you go or you're afraid to let them go. See, sevens are about, it's a divine number, but it's also about strategy. You know, it's, it's the strategy. How do I get out? What do I do? You know, the seven of cups is, is having choices and decisions to make. The seven of wands is about um, having the higher ground, standing up for what you believe in. Uh, the seven of, or seven of pentacles is, you know, how have you invested in this and what is your next inspired movement on your investment, Right. And then what's left? The seven of swords. Seven of swords is this one right here. It's all about change. It's about knowing that somebody is duping you and not treating you the way they're supposed to. So it's all about inspired um, adjustments. It's adjusting, making adjustments in your life. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing here. You know, this is bringing you great anxiety. But you're being told to know your worth, to recognize that you are worthy of love. Choose loving thoughts. What you think about, you bring about, right? So if you think that you're not going to make it or you're not able to do this or you're not worthy or you're not loved or you're not pretty enough, not tall enough, not skinny enough, not fat enough, blah, 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 right? It's like, no, love is unconditional. Love is acceptance. It's not codependence right? If you're yearning and longing for somebody, 
there's something within you that needs to be healed because love is not about longing and yearning. It can be about missing somebody, but it's definitely not going to bring you anxiety. Okay, so spirits like go to the sea. You need to go within yourself and have a nice cry. You need to get in your boat and maybe go somewhere else. This is feeling lost and alone and, and into very deep introspection, all up in your feelings. Water is about feelings. But spirit says trust. Hope, luck is on your side. Trust the fates. This is fated. This is something that was supposed to happen so that you could get on top of it, so that you could choose you. Choose you. And that is not selfish. That's healthy selfishness. Okay. There are, there's a difference between narcissists and people who are egotistically um, selfish and those who just need to know that they, their, their thoughts, their feelings, their emotions matter. Okay. So let's see your advice. We have high priestess. A mystery is to be unveiled. A new clarity around your direction is unfolding. Be willing to wait for the full reveal, but also recognize what is happening at this time. You will be gaining valuable insight into where you are being led and for what purpose, because it's fated. The fates are at hand, right? You need to go within. So let's get you a postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, we are gathering our magic together to help you celebrate your new beginning you're stepping into a new version of your life, getting to tell a new story as you create it. Doesn't it feel like spring when the urge to expand wells up inside you from a primal place? The form of what you are growing has yet to take its shape, and it is exciting to experience this new and fresh beginning. It's normal to feel both the push and the pushback when entering into any kind of a new relationship. It's okay to admit you don't really know what to expect. What you can know is it's time to dive in and allow that new version of your life to take shape through you and on behalf of your partner in life, spirit. Not a man, not a woman, spirit. You've made it to a new level of awakening and contributing, and we are so excited to see where this will take you next. Okay, so this is a spiritual journey. It's faded. And you have been activated for a healing. And the only way you're going to get this healing is through faith, trust, and knowing and recognizing your divine worth. So have hope, love, and acceptance and know that luck and spirit is on your side. And you will get to the other side of this. How do I know that? Because the Nine of Pentacles says that you're going to free yourself from this energy and become um, autonomous. You know, this is, this is for you. All right. I love you guys. I hope this resonated. I'm going to move on to pile three now. And if you need a private reading, please reach out. I can help you on any journey that you're on. Um, I'm on my own personal journey. So um, maybe we can help each other, right? Reach out. The link is below. Okay, on to pile number three. Oh, I like the way this one's unfolding already. <laughs> okay, wow, everybody's kind of, you know, I have a feeling you could have picked any pile. <laughs> All three of these piles seem to be giving uh, uh, very similar messages, but we are dealing with creative source and uh, all of the angelic realm, right? Spirit guides, gods, goddesses. So it makes sense. It really does. But in this one, we have harmony, which is, this is the lover's card. Okay. Divine love. This is not just falling in love. This is like a divine counterpart because we have the four of wands. And for me as a reader, the four of wands depicts um, divine union. So then next you have 
charity, prayer and contemplation, connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. Okay, so don't just watch videos, go within yourself, pray and meditate and ask for your inner compass, your guides to give you messages. Take time to breathe out. You know, when you meet your divine soulmate and counterpart, twin flame, it can get really tumultuous really fast. It's like being struck by lightning. It's like that be all, end all. And it really is a catalyst to your expansion, your soul's growth. Because we have fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. This is the throat chakra. It's communicating. Um, perhaps the two of you are in a, a moment of non-communication and you need to talk to each other. You need to talk it out. Um, it could be listening to your inner guidance too, because you have <clears throat> the uh, connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive through prayer and contemplation. And then you have a uh, fifth chakra, which is communication. So trust the communication that you get when you pray and meditate and go within and know that this is your temple path. This is your mission. It's your calling. And this person is, is part of your process. Okay. <clears throat> if you're going through tough times, then it's because they have activated you to spiritually expand and grow and to, to balance your inner masculine and feminine so that you can have a strong foundation together strong foundation in this union. Okay. And if it's, if it's tough, it's because it needs to be tough. It's the only way to crack the coconut, right? The coconut is the heart that we have been putting layers and layers and layers of brokenness around for a very long time. So you got to crack that coconut open. And sometimes it's through a divine you or a divine soulmate that you're wanting to be in union with. Okay. But this is the temple path. This is your calling. You are exactly where you need to be. And you are co-creating a brand new life together, whether you know it or not, because sometimes it looks real ugly in the beginning. You know, it activates you to heal and purge and collapse old timelines. It's, it makes you, they make you see all the places within you that have fear of abandonment of, you know, all of these messages have been all about knowing your self-worth. Okay. I see this is going to go someplace very beautiful. And if you are in a place right now where it doesn't feel like it will ever come together, spirit's saying, take time to breathe out because you're mending. Both of you are mending, okay? And you are going to have a new life. This is your temple path. This is fated for you, okay? Communication is the key, whether it's communicating with yourself, with your person, your divine beloved, or communicating with the divine, you know? It's prayer and meditation. You got it right here on the board. So let's get you your advice your advice is pillar of light, a pillar of light burning bright, earth star below, soul star above, burn away all that is not light, transform all into unconditional love. Star of Isis, descend your blessing and peace without end. Grace me now with peace and protection, completely embraced by divine perfection. Wow, that's like a, I, I'm going to put that up. I want you guys to pause this video or take a screenshot. That's a very, very powerful prayer to the goddess Isis. Um, so my guess is you're probably a feminine watching this. You don't have to be. And, and know that feminine, divine feminine can live in a male or female body. It's not about your avatar. It's about your uh, energy. Are you divine feminine? Or are you divine masculine? But this is, this is beautiful, okay? So I would like for you guys to take a screenshot of that and pray that prayer because, you know, what it's saying is, you know, I need the light burning bright to show me, you know, show that my, here on the earth and in my soul, burn away all that's not light, anything that's darkness, transform all into unconditional love. Uh, asking Isis to descend 
a blessing and peace without end. Grace me now with peace and protection. Yes, you definitely need spiritual protection when you're going through a twin flame or divine soulmate um, union because there are dark forces that are trying to keep the, the uh, twins and divine soulmates, divine masculine and feminine apart because, you know, we only need a handful of light workers to douse a whole kingdom of darkness because without light, their power is so minimal compared to the light and the power of a light worker. Okay. So make sure that you are saying prayers of protection, calling in your guides and angels and, and, you know, ascended masters to protect you from any lower vibrational energies that are trying to prevent you from coming into union. Okay. And your advice card, dear, oh, this is a postcard from spirit. And this is by Colette Baron Reed. Dearest you, we know everything in the universe is perfect, even in its flaws. And we view the creations of spirit in total awe, always unique, yet part of a unity of existence. But the human experience is a little different from ours. You tend to have a specific standard for what you consider ideal, and this is not serving you right now. So forget your idea of perfection and see things through our eyes, allowing things to be as they are without judgment. Don't wait until a perfect moment or mood to start something. Instead, enter life with all its flossomeness. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Let others be who they are too imperfect and human, complex or simple. It just doesn't matter for there is always something to discover, experience, and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable, loving you like crazy. So what they're telling you is, you know, if you were going down the river on a raft and let's say the water's not very deep, you can reach the bottom. Okay. How are you going to get to your destination more effectively and quickly? By standing up in the middle of the inner tube and walking down the river or by climbing on and lifting your feet and allowing the flow of the water to carry you. So spirit saying right now you need to stop resisting this lesson, resisting this uncomfortable. Um, you're the you're the caterpillar in the middle of the chrysalis going to go. And spirit saying, pick your feet up. Allow us to carry you because we know what's best for you. And you will be happy with the outcome if you just trust and have faith. Okay, so pray, contemplate, know that you're healing and mending. This is meant to be. Say this prayer. It's a beautiful prayer and know your value, know your worth, know that a new life is coming. Take a deep breath. Trust in the divine. That's what your spirit guides and angels would like you to know right now. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. If this resonated, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment and uh, uh subscribe. Yeah, there's an idea. Subscribe if it resonates. Okay. Love and light guys. Bye-bye.